Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and to today's video where we are going to be playing with some of the new Fenty products that have just come out. I have the Snap Shadow number 10. I already have a look on my eyes. We'll go through that. And then I picked up one of the new lip balms, Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. I got the color Latte Lips, so we'll go ahead and try this. I haven't, I haven't put it on yet, so we'll be uh, putting a first, first try on with that. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. So if that sounds interesting, please keep watching. Okay, so let's get started talking about this palette. Um, I'm a bit, I feel a bit rusty. It's been a few weeks since I filmed, so I'm feeling, um, I don't know, slightly more, more nervy than normal when I'm filming this. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'll put a card up here, I think, <laughs> showing you the last Fenty Snapshot review I did, which was for the number seven and the number two. Um, I liked them both. Okay, the number two, in case you want to see, this is what she looks like. It's just a little bit meh. It was okay. It wasn't superb. It was fine. The quality is fine. It wasn't like the best ever. Um, but the one that I really liked was the number seven, this one, with these kind of khaki colors to it. It's showing up quite green, this one, but it's definitely not as green in person. It's more of a like a true khaki and then this beautiful yellow and then the shimmers and I really loved this one. It was actually one of my favorite neutral palettes um, that I have. So I was quite excited to see that they were releasing a new new two a duo. Yeah, two different new snap shadows, the number nine, which I did not pick up because it come on guys, it was like very neutral, not my not really my style. This is my type of neutral, these kind of yellowy greeny colors, not browns. Kind of. I think it was like a pinky mauve kind of moment. So what I did do is I picked up the number 10. I got this last week actually at Boots. They stock Fenty here in the UK. And this is what she looks like. So I thought that we would go ahead and just do very quick swatches of this. Um, there's only six colors, so we're just going to do the back of the hand. We're not, not quite ready to start doing swatches on the tattoo yet because it is still, it is still healing. I still have more sessions to go, so we aren't there yet. So the first row, we have, oh yeah, the name of the palette is called 10, it's called Money. So that's, it does definitely have some very money colored shadows in it. So this is the first color and that is called Fat Pockets. Then the second one is Need Receipts. It's definitely a, like, I, I know it's an American based brand, but it's definitely like an American dollar bill color, this one. And then the third one is called Time is Money, but time is spelled like time the, like the herb, not like time. The time is taking me to say this word. <laughs> okay, so there's the first one and then the second. And these two are both metallics or metallic-y shimmery types. And then the Time is Money one is our first matte. So this one, the second one isn't really showing up that great so let's go ahead and go in for a a second pass so you can see it but it really is in my opinion like a dollar bill color kind of thing okay so the second row is going to be rubber bands <laughs> this one here then direct deposit that one there and then this really pretty gold one called flash money that one there So that's, that's it really, it's just a little six pan palette, which I love, I love it being so short. So we have, this is the deepest color, the first one, um, Fat Pockets. Um, and then these two are tonally quite similar, but this one is the shimmer and this one is the matte. Then we have a slightly mid-tone one between these two shimmers, and then we have this gold. So let me go ahead and scooch over to the side and I'll go ahead and show you the eye look that I got with this, um, which is the one that I am wearing here. I think there's probably a limit to the number of looks that you can get with this. It is just a, a six pan palette and I'm gonna talk a little bit about where I think some of the issues are with it a little bit later on. But let me go ahead and throw up the footage of, of me doing this eye look. Again, it's been a while. I haven't really been doing my makeup very much when I've been on holiday, so like a couple of days worth and then that was that's been kind of it, but. Anyway, so the first color that I went in with was the kind of the lightest matte, which was Time is Money. Um, and I really like this shade. And interestingly, this color is a bit unique to my kind of greens collection because it is so, hmm, 
what's the right word? It's kind of like a, it's not a pastel, but it's like a soft, muted, mid-tone green. And I really like it because it's not too blue. It's not too yellow. It's like really in, in between, but also not a true green. So it's like a another lovely khaki color. And I think kind of reflecting back on the Snapshadow number, um, number seven, I think it will go really well with like this bottom row here and maybe even with with this one here, this kind of blue greeny one. Yeah, I think it'll be really pretty. I think I'll come back to this, but I think these two will really complement each other. Um, so I went in with Time is Money. It works really well. It did stick a little bit, like it kind of stayed where it was a bit and it was somewhat hard to blend out. I was using my, um, so I was using my current favorite eye primer, which is the Hourglass Veil Primer. I've been using it pretty much exclusively for weeks now. And it is my absolute, like it's so, so good guys. So really, really good. So I know that how the eyeshadows perform with that. So if there was any kind of uh, poorness of quality, it would be the shadows and not the, the base, okay? So this one worked fine. It, they just kind of stayed put a little bit more. I did manage to blend them out a bit. Now, here's where the error happened. <laughs> I decided, okay, well, the brown, it looks darker in the pan than it is on the eye. I went in with the brown. I'm like, okay, we'll deepen up this outer corner with the brown. It's too light, guys. It's way too light to deepen up with, in, in my personal opinion. So what I had to do is I went back over it with the um, a Fat Pockets Shimmer instead because that is the darkest color and it was kind of like, it felt like my only option here was to go in with that. So I put that all over and it worked out really well. It started looking terrible for like a minute and then I was like, okay, we're fine. <laughs> we can do this. And I really like it. It actually worked really well almost like it was a matte. So I'm quite happy with that. I think the way it looks is very pretty. It's very soft, but it is still deep enough. So yeah, anyway, so that's what I did. And then I kind of just buffed and blended a little bit more just to give it a little bit of a softer, less harsh edge. And I went back in with, I went with two shimmers for the lid. So I started with Need Receipts, this kind of very like US dollar money color. I really like it. I don't think you can, I think you can see it a bit like right there. Um, I almost kind of want to just wear that color all over the lid. That one and the other one, the other shimmer, Direct Deposit, I think they'll be really pretty kind of like almost on their own. Um, so I went with that and then I went in with the gold towards the very, very inner corner. I wanted to use as many colors as I could in this look to really give you guys an idea of, of how most of them work. So yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. The shadows all performed pretty well. Um, no particular issues there. I will say with this, the main issue is the lack of a dark matte. Now it is only a six pan palette, so it's kind of like, what, what would you do? I just think if this brown, sorry, if this brown was slightly darker, it would have been just like a really perfect greeny brown palette. It would have been impeccable, which is why I think pairing it with the number seven is going to be a really excellent idea. And you know they snap together, so you can just kind of like have, you know, everything. Oop. Somehow. Carolyn. Does it go like this? There we go. Okay. <laughs> so you can snap them together and take it traveling. So you could have like one side is the seven and then the other side is the 10. So these two as like a set together, yes, all of the colors I like. Quality is perfectly fine. I don't really see any issues with it. I liked the Fenty quality before, so I'm happy with that. So I think if you like these colors, I think it's worth getting. I think it's one of the nicer ones of the collection, that and the seven. I, I quite like them. So I thought, let's just go ahead and try this lip balm together now. So like I said, this color Latte Lips. There we go. Hmm. Ooh, it smells really nice. I like it. So it's supposed to be a lip balm. So I'm not a huge fan of the gloss balm. Gloss balm, not balm. Hmm. So let's see if I like this any better. It's definitely the color of my lips, so I'm glad that I didn't like put it on at the beginning and then have to take it off and then reshow you because it would have looked exactly the same the whole time. So obviously, color-wise, it's it's the color of my lips. 
I'm trying to see if it's sticky. It's not really sticky, it's a little bit, it feels very emollient, very oily almost, a little bit, which I'm not a huge fan of in balms. I want them just a little bit more on the slick rather than oily kind of feeling. It's a hard distinction, but I think I, I've tended to prefer like the stick kind, um, whereas one that I really like. Like this one, this is the Chantecai Balm, and you know, it's the way that it goes on is almost like a transparent, just a top coat, almost just like a chapstick kind of thing, just like a normal balm. It's very comfortable, absolutely fine. Um, I think, check the colors, um, they, if you do want anything that's like colorful, this is, this is not going to be it, it is really, it's just my lip color. So it could be a good go-to kind of everyday lip balm type of thing. I like it. Yeah, the more it sits on my lips, it might be that if I, um, where's the tissue? If I just like blot once. Mm, yeah, that's way better. Yeah. So it's still there. It's still comfortable, but it isn't quite so slick. So yeah, a little bit of a blot. Um, maybe I over applied the amount that I put on. This is much better. I really, yeah, that's nice. All right, guys. That's it. It's just a quick little little happy review today to get me kind of back into the groove of doing YouTube videos. It's kind of felt like a bit of a hurdle to get back over. A few days I've been wanting to film and then I'm like, eh, but I can sleep. <laughs> so I'll get back into it slowly, slowly. That's the way to do it, right? You don't have to like go all in one a little bit at a time. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you could hit the like button down below or you could subscribe. It's free. <laughs> So I will be back with a new video very soon. I hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.